गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ द क्लास इज सॉफ्ट पैलेट एंड टॉन्सिल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अबाउट पैलेट पैलेट इज अ रूफ ऑफ माउथ एंड इट इज सेपरेटिंग द नेजल कैविटी एंड नेजो फैरिंग्स फ्रॉम द ओरल कैविटी एंड ओरो फैरिंग्स एंड इट इज मेड अबाउट टू पार्ट हार्ड पैलेट एंड द सॉफ्ट पैलेट एंटीरियर पार्ट एंटीरियर फोर फिफ्थ पार्ट पार्ट इज फॉर्म बाय द हार्ड पैलेट एंड पोस्टीरियर वन फिफ्थ पार्ट इज फॉर्म बाय द सॉफ्ट पैलेट Here you can see uh, this is the nasal cavity and this one is the nasopharynx. This is oral cavity and this one is the oropharynx. And this is the palate. This is anterior part of the hard palate which is forming the roof of the oral cavity. And this posterior part is the soft palate. This one is the soft palate. and uh, from the inferior part of the soft palate you can see a tongue like projection that is called as uvula so we can say uh, this uh, palate is separating the nasal cavity and nasopharynx from pharynx from the oral cavity uh, and uh, oropharynx hard palate the anterior uh, this is separating the nasal and uh, oral cavities and anterior two third part of it is formed by the palatine process of maxilla this is anterior part and posterior part is formed by the this posterior part is formed by the horizontal plate of the palatine bones anterior palate is continuous with the alveolar arches and teeth and posterior margin of the hard palate it is giving attachment to the soft palate now come to the soft palate soft palate is a mobile muscular flap which is separating the nasal cavity uh, nasopharynx from the oropharynx so it is separating the nasal uh, nasopharynx from the oropharynx and this is soft palate anterior surface of the soft palate this is the anterior surface of the soft palate it is the oral surface and this is the posterior surface of the soft palate which is the nasal surface and superior border it is attached to the hard palate and inferior border this is the inferior border which is free and in in its middle there is a tongue like projection that is called as uvula this is uvula now uh, from the base of the soft palate this is uh, sorry from the base of uvula this is uvula and this is the base of uvula two uh, folds of mucous membrane are arising and uh, they are going laterally and downwards here this is the base of uvula and from here one fold and the two fold this is the anterior fold and this is the posterior fold anterior fold is called as palatoglossal fold that contains the palatoglossus muscle and the posterior fold that contains the palatopharyngeus muscle and uh, these two fold uh, forms the boundary of the tonsillar fossa and in which palatine tonsil lies now the structure of the tonsil a uh, soft palate uh, structure of the soft palate we can see it is made up of fold of mucous membrane which contains five pairs of muscles which are tensor velar palatini levator velar palatini palatoglossus palatopharyngeus and musculus uvulae and uh, the it is which are covered by a fold of mucous membrane in the submucosa you can see uh, the plenty of glands palatine glands are there and which are more on the oral surface and near the uvula and also the number of lymphoid follicles and taste buds are also present on the oral surface of the soft palate coming to the muscles of the soft palate there are five pairs of the muscles uh, tensor palati tensor palati or the tensor velar palatini levator velar palatini palatoglossus palatopharyngeus and the muscular uvulae all the muscles of the soft palate are extrinsic but the muscular uvulae is intrinsic muscle all these muscles uh, except uh, muscular uvulae that is uh, they are responsible for the movement of the palate and uh, uh, the muscular uvulae it uh, it is responsible for the uh, the movement of the uvula 
here you can see the tense this is the eustachian tube and lateral to the eustachian tube it is tensor villi palatini and the medial to the eustachian tube this is levator villi palatini and this is palate and this is the tongue so from uh, palate to the tongue the muscle is coming that is palatoglossus so this one is the palatoglossus muscle and the from the palate to the pharynx this muscle is the palatopharyngeus muscle and this one is the musculus uvulae this muscle is the musculus uvulae now first of all tensor villi palatini it is a triangular muscle here you can see this is the triangular muscle and uh, this is eustachian tube or the auditory tube from the lateral part of the auditory tube it is coming also from the adjoining part of the greater wing of sphenoid and spine of sphenoid so the origin of this uh, tensor villi palatini is from the lateral surface of the auditory tube with greater wing of the sphenoid and the spine of sphenoid and the muscle hook around the pterygoid humerus this is the pterygoid humerus this one is the pterygoid humerus and uh, it is here you can see the pterygoid humerus and it is forming a hook around it and uh, then expand to form the palatine aponeurosis here it is forming the palatine aponeurosis so here you can see the muscle which uh, tensor villi palatini which is arising from the lateral part of the eustachian tube and the greater wing and the spine of sphenoid and now it is inserting on the posterior border of the hard palate and also on the palatine crest so it is inserting on the palatine crest and the inferior surface of the hard palate and uh, here is the pterygoid humerus where it is turning around it is changing its direction and this is the eustachian tube and this one is the spina spine of sphenoid from which it is originating and here the pterygoid humerus where it changes its direction and then inserted in form of palatine aponeurosis so palatine aponeurosis is made up of it is expansion of tensor villi palatini muscle and as the name is suggesting it will help in tightening of the soft palate and as it is attached to the auditory tube it will help in opening of the auditory tube now the levator villi palatini it is a cylindrical muscle which is present deep to the tensor villi palatini so it is present here it is deep a uh, deep uh, this purplish one is the tensor villi palatini and this brownish one is the levator villi palatini so it is present deeper to it and it is originating from the medial surface of the auditory tube from the cartilaginous part and also from the adjacent part of the petrous temporal bone and where it is inserting it is a uh, inserted on the upper surface of the palatine aponeurosis so it is inserted on the upper surface of the palatine aponeurosis and the function is as the name is suggesting it elevates the palate soft palate and closes the pharyngeal isthmus all and also helps in opening of the auditory tube because it is attached to the auditory tube now the musculus uvulae it is uh, originating from the posterior nasal spine and the palatine aponeurosis so this is muscle uh, this is musculus uvulae this one and originating from the posterior nasal spine and palatine aponeurosis and it insert on the mucous membrane of the uvula and function is to pull the uvula forwards and to its own side so responsible for movement of the uvula and pulling it towards its own side now coming to the palatopharyngeus the name is suggesting it is coming from the palate and going up to the pharynx it has two fasciculi which are separated by levator villi palatini muscle this is levator villi palatini deeper to it and this is palatopharyngeus and originating from uh, from the anterior fasciculi is originating from the posterior border of the hard palate and posterior fasciculi is originating from the palatine aponeurosis and inserting on the pharynx where the on the median fibrous raphe of the pharynx 
and also on the posterior border of the lamina of the thyroid, thyroid cartilage. So it is attached to the pharynx and the larynx. So function will be it raise the wall of the pharynx and larynx during swallowing. Now coming to the palatoglossus. It is originating from the palate from the palatine aponeurosis and it forms the palatoglossal arch and inserting on the tongue as the name is suggesting palatoglossus com so coming from the palate from the palatine aponeurosis and going up to the tongue on the side of tongue it is inserting as it is attached to the tongue so it will pull the tongue root of the tongue up and uh, also forming the palatoglossal arch anterior uh, boundary of the tonsillar fossa so it also helps in closing the oropharyngeal isthmus so these was the muscles of the soft palate now coming to the blood supply of the soft palate we can see that uh, it is mainly so this is this part is the soft palate so it is supplying by the lesser palatine artery and uh, branches uh, ascending palatine artery which is a branch of facial artery and ascending palatine branch of the ascending pharyngeal artery so blood supply is from the lesser palatine and uh, ascending palatine branch of facial and also from the palatine branch of ascending pharyngeal and the venous drainage so all the venous blood passing to the pterygoid venous plexus and tonsillar venous plexus and finally we'll go into the internal jugular vein and lymphatics the lymphatic will go into the upper deep cervical group of lymph node now we come to the nerve supply of the palate soft palate all the muscles of the soft palate they are supplied by pharyngeal plexus by the cranial part of accessory nerve but the tensor villi palatini it, it is supplied by nerve to medial pterygoid which is a branch of mandibular nerve so the motor supply or the all the muscles of the soft palate they are supplied by pharyngeal plexus via the cranial part of accessory now except the medial pterygoid that is supplied by uh, now to medial pterygoid which is coming from the mandibular nerve and sensory supply that is by the lesser palatine nerve and also from the glossopharyngeal nerve Paralysis, paralysis of the soft palate if the uh, nerve supply of the palate is damaging then uh, that will lead to paralysis of the soft palate and what will happen in it there will be nasal regurgitation of the liquid and uh, there will be nasal twang in the voice and flattening of the palatal arches will be there because these arches palatoglossal and palatopharynges they are uh, they are the part of the soft palate so there will be flattening of the palatal arches and most important the de deviation of the uvula deviation of the uvula will be opposite to the side of lesion if the right uh, side of the nerves are paralyzed then the uvula will be deviated to the opposite side due to contraction of the muscles of the normal side then uh, gag reflex what is gag reflex it is a protective reflex and uh, when we touch the palate tonsil on, or the posterior pharyngeal wall by a swab or spatula then there will be reflex contraction of the palate and the pharyngeal muscles because of stimulation of the mucous membrane of the oropharynx an efferent limb of the gag reflex is formed by the ninth nerve and efferent limb is formed by the tenth nerve that is vagus so gag reflex is a protective reflex when we stimulate the mucosa uh, of the palate tonsil or the posterior pharyngeal wall and if we touch it by a swab or a spatula then the mucosa mucous membrane of the oropharynx will be stimulated and then we, uh, that will lead to protective reflex that uh, will lead to elevation of the palate and contraction of the pharyngeal muscles and it is, is associated with the retching and gagging and it is called as gag reflex so that is all about the soft palate thank you